Hello everyone and welcome to episode 7 of this Top Tips series. My name is Winters and you are very welcome. So, in this episode, we are going to talk about bridge officers again. Now, in the past two episodes, the first one, we talked about uh, tactical bridge officers that you can get from your fleet's embassy. And in our previous episode, we talked about um, uh, the uh, hierarchy science slash intelligence bridge officer. Um, I have... Uh, my three Romulan Embassy Bridge Officers here, and I have uh, the Hierarchy guy here in my Science Station. But now, if you look, you can see here, obviously, I have one Engineering seat. So, who do I put in there? Well, I'll tell you who I've got in there. It's actually this guy. And he's a Nausicaan. Now, some of you may or may not be aware of this, but it is actually possible to get a Nausicaan on the Federation side. Now you can only get one, all right? But here's how you do it. Basically, what you need to do is, you need to get your duty officer commendation for diplomatic. So if we click on the overview here, we can see all the different commendations. Diplomatic, science, engineering, military, exploration, espionage, and so on. For achieving rank four within the diplomatic commendation, you will unlock the ability to get one enemy faction bridge officer added to your crew. Once you have got that rank four, what you need to do is you need to come back to Earth Space Dock and we're going to Admiral Quinn's office basically. Uh, I'll show you exactly um, who you have to talk to. So we'll go up here and we'll make way for or make our way to Admiral Quinn's office. And we're looking for an ambassador that's just in on the right hand side. Right here. Okay, uh, let's see. I think it might be this one. Could be wrong. Yep, I'm wrong. Okay. S ambassador Sukigara, store. This is it. So you have an option of getting an Orion Female Engineering Science Tactical, Orion Male Engineering Science Tactical, Nausicaan Male Engineering Science Tactical. Uh, you have the same thing again, uh, engineer, or another Nausicaan Male, because there's apparently no Nausicaan Females. Um, then you have uh, Gorn Male Engineering Science Tactical, and again you have another set of Gorn Males, because apparently there's no females. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, what you're looking for is one of these guys. And I strongly recommend that you go with the Engineer. Because if you're following this series, your tactical bridge officers are going to come from the Embassy. All right, If you want to maximize your potential output, assuming that you're on the Federation or KDF factions, not Romulan... Uh, Romulan can buy them uh, free from, not well, not free from the embassy, but they can buy them off the exchange and they're usable. Federation and Klingon cannot buy them off the exchange, uh, and if you do, uh, you def you cannot use them. You, you can purchase them, but you can't use them. Uh, so yeah, your three or whatever amount of tactical seats you've got are going to come from the embassy. And if you have a science seat, which you most certainly do have at least one, then um, you are going to go with the hierarchy guy because he's got the pirate trait and the efficient trait. So that leaves your engineering. So I strongly recommend that you get one of the engineering Nausicaan male guys here from this list. Uh, if you have already picked, let's say, the Orion female, and you're like, ah, oh, crap. I didn't want, you know, I didn't know this and I should have gone with the uh, Nausicaan male engineer. Fear not. If you dismiss whatever one you picked up, all right? So let's say I picked up um, the uh, Orion female. Imagine this was the Orion female that I picked up from here. Okay. All I need to do is click on career options and discharge. And that's it. It'll get rid of them. Okay, and then you come back here and you can pick up a brand new bridge officer. And this time you can pick up the Nausicaan male engineer. Um, so fear not, you have not screwed yourself out of this opportunity. Um, yeah, so that's um, that's how you get them and that's where you get them from. 
Now, just like the hierarchy guy that we talked about in our last episode, and remember, you can only get one of him. You can only get one hierarchy science bridge officer from the Mission Alliance. Uh, and likewise, you can only get one Nausicaan and uh, engineer from this guy but uh, because he's Nausicaan he also comes with the uh, trait pirate and as I said before it gives a plus 1.5 bonus all damage and plus 150 stealth the bonus to all damage outgoing damage that stacks so because I've got Mr. Potato Head and the Nausicaan I've got a 3% boost to my all outgoing damage there straight away the stealth does not stack that is not stackable but the outgoing damage is stackable so that's three percent there that i've got um right that's how you get him that's what he's got um right some hints then for getting your commendation up to rank four rank four is one hundred thousand. XP. You can go up to a max cap of 150,000 XP as you can see I've got nearly all mine up to 150,000. Um, right, so what you need to focus on is specifically diplomatic missions like I'm highlighting here. All right, This one gives 241 for a normal success. You need to do as many diplomatic missions as possible. So where can you go to get diploma diplomatic missions? If we open up the galaxy map here, and we'll zoom in a bit, <clears throat> excuse me, right, these three sector blocks here are called the Sirius sector block, if I remember correctly. That's one sector block, so there's one batch of missions in there. This is the regular sector block, if I remember correctly. There's another batch of missions in here between these three sector blocks, or three sectors, all right, but they all combine just to make one sector block. So there is only one set of missions for this sector block. And uh, this is another one here, if I remember right. Um, and then these ones here are... Actually, do you know what? I might be wrong. This might be... This might be one sector block. This is another sector block. Then this is another sector block, if I remember right. Anyway, you want to come out of ESD, out of Sol system, and come in here into the Sirius sector block. All right, So you're going to be here somewhere you will get one batch of missions. Travel to the right, and once you cross the border here into the regular sector block, all right, so you're around here, you will get another batch of missions. And what you want to do is, um, when, you, when you go into each sector block, you want to see on the current map what diplomatic missions there are. Once you've finished on the current map, you then go to diplomatic head or department heads, and then click on the first officer assignments, and you will get more diplomatic missions okay so remember that you want to take all the missions that are in current map and then you want to go to your first officer and they will have even more diplomatic missions for you so that's when you're here so you cross over you check the current map again then you go to first officer and check them for diplomatic missions they will have more cross over here do the same thing again when you come back because this is a little bug, I won't go into the details of it, but when you come back across this line again, you might have more diplomatic missions available from your first officer. So keep that in mind. You might have uh, another set of missions that you can pick up. Um, basically, head back to the border and... <clears throat> wow, my voice. Sorry about that. Uh, you want to go into the Alpha Quadrant. Now, the Alpha Quadrant... Um, if I remember right, these three sectors is a sector block, and these three are a sector block, and these three are a sector block. Basically, you come in, you're going to be here somewhere, check your map, check your first officer, head south. Once you cross the border here, you're into a new sector block. You will have more missions. Keep on going south. Once you cross the border here, you will get another batch of missions. That should pretty much take up all... 20 or 23 uh, available DOF slots that you might have. You might have 20, you might have unlocked the extra ones from the embassy, giving you a total of 23. But by the time you get down here, that should nearly take up every single duty officer slot that you have available to you. And do that for a few days. 
or let's let's say two weeks, no doubt I'd say that you would actually have got your uh, diplomatic commendation all the way up to rank four. And that's how you can focus on it and get it up. And the other thing is, and this is really nice, if we click on diplomatic here, we can see what we get for each rank level that we uh, achieve. And if we look here at rank two, we get a transwarp to Deep Space K7. Uh, at rank three, we get a transwarp to Starbase 3 Niner Sierra. And at rank four, we get a transwarp to Deep Space Nine. So that's a nice little bonus as well on top of everything else that you get. Um, you unlock some additional transwarps which are very useful when trying to navigate and travel around the galaxy. So keep that in mind as well. So there, we've talked about the bridge officer. Uh, we've talked about how to get him. Uh, we've uh, talked about the bonuses of having him on your crew and why you should go for an engineer. And we've also shown you some tips on uh, how to, you know, really focus on uh, gaining diplomatic experience within uh, your duty officer system. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you haven't done all, if you haven't done so already, please, please subscribe to the channel. My name is Winters, and I will see you next time. So until then, take care.